Hey hello everybody, my name is Gideon, welcome back for the video of Lake. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we did another complete uh, day. We delivered a bunch of mail and uh, packages and stuff and delivered our first movie according to the plan of the bookstore uh, girl, which I, I always forget her name, but according, according to her plan, I am to deliver movies around... Uh, the place and just give it to a bunch of people so I'm gonna try and do that as much as we can uh, sorry my god watch out I do have to deliver mail right here this is the first place I gotta go to does this person always have mail going on I feel like I'm always delivering mail for some reason right here let me just hop on off the um, my van really quick I gotta deliver that mail nobody's home all right let's just uh, get it done then there's not a lot of people. I wish there was more people, I guess. I mean, uh, by every day we're encountering um, more uh, villagers and stuff. But it seems like at the same time, there's some people just don't want to talk to me. All right, let's just hop on into the 104th Street. I'm probably going to go ha have to go around the place uh, right here. Just for funsies, I guess. It's going to make uh, a little bit faster for me if... If I was to turn around and stuff like that, but I guess I'll go towards there. So I do have to go right here. What? Okay. I guess I'm driving like a maniac right now. There we go. This is where I'm supposed to go. Let's go uh, deliver that mail right here. So there's not much to it for the mail parts. I think what I'm going to do, uh, end up doing is I'm just going to transition every time when, uh, when it's time for me to actually deliver mails. If it's for packages and stuff, I'll show it to you guys. But I don't think there's anything particular in me just driving around delivering mail all day. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and fast travel. Or not fast travel, but uh, skip until I actually deliver something interesting, you know. Alright, we got our actual for a second package right here on this doorstep, boys. And afterwards, I got a mail right next door. Uh, next door. So I guess it's not... It didn't take me too long to travel. It's just... It's going to be faster for the video if I... Just do some quick transitioning, you know, showing you me doing literally delivering mail all over the place every time. It's not much of a, a special thing, you know, so I guess this is a big package, though. The hell is that person uh, no getting? Answer. No, no answer, I guess. All right. So I'm just going to put that on the door. Yeah, on the doorstep. You probably would want to uh, get that open uh, quick, though, before someone steals it. So I I'm just going to go next on foot. For the rest, you already know I'm going to keep uh, transitioning. There's really not a whole lot happening right now. Seems like it's going to be a pretty simple day for this one. So I'm just going to keep going and do my thing really quick. Now there is something waiting for me right here, boys. As I go to the mechanic, it seems as though uh, I got to talk to her. So there's a special thing. It's probably do has something to do with the moving stuff that I gave her. Hopefully she liked it. I mean, I'm not sure. I, I would have preferred her to actually watch the other one, even though it's a scary movie. I feel hey, like it's a much did better you watch movie. The love bug? Hey, Miss W. Yeah, I did. Here it is. It wasn't the best. I knew it. You could say you loved it. Well, uh, that's too bad. I hope you would like it. That's too bad. I'd hoped you'd like it. Yeah, oh well. Better luck next time. For sure. There's always plenty more movies in Angie's video rental shop. Have a nice day, Lori. Exactly. You too, Miss W. Alright, so she did not like that movie at all. Not surprising. Now we gotta head back and probably deliver by this uh, back to the rental store, to be honest. Alright, so that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I guess she didn't like liked it at all. So, F uh, for closing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep delivering a bunch of mail. I got three of those mail thingy is to deliver. So I'll keep going there, I guess. I got a lot of those. Oh my god, I just can't drive. I'm just happy that this game is not too realistic. Just so I don't uh, end up like crashing into the, those, one of those uh, gas stations just like this one. And end up exploding into pieces, boys. That would be fun. Alright, so let me keep transitioning, I guess. I'll see you once I'm at the video store. Or actually, now that I'm thinking about it, boys. We're coming off towards uh, Robert's place, uh, Bob's place. And we're probably going to talk to him. Because every time we deliver mail to him, we end up talking to him, uh, interacting with him. So, 
Uh, we'll see what's uh, what's gonna happen this time around. He's gonna have more bad news, probably. We're gonna find out real quick though if he's gonna be happy uh, to see me or not. Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And uh, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. Yeah, that's no problem. Uh, no problem. Uh, leaking roofs don't fix themselves. No problem. Leaking roofs don't fix themselves. Well, it was just I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. Was I such bad company? Was I such bad company? No, no, not at all. I, I really enjoyed it. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. Okay, whatever you say, if it makes you feel better to say that you're weir the weirdo. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness, my guy. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. A dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? I don't know. You're sharing ev you've been sharing everything so far. New news regarding those apartments. So, no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Wild card plan? What's that all about? Wild card plan? Wild card plan. Yes. Also, highly confidential. Alright, good luck with that then. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. I won't push any further. If he says he's confidential, boys, I'm not gonna start pushing on him like that and asking him in too many questions. Alright, let's take a look around. So we're all the way there. I should probably fast travel to uh, over there to the motel. It's going to be faster for me if I go there. Go hot back there, fast travel back again. Uh, probably this time around to East Crossroads and go right to that direction. So I'm going to deliver these two mails, boys. So we're right here, boys. It seems like we're probably going to interact with these people. It's a brand new place. I haven't gotten there before. This got to be a place that... Uh, Frank was telling us about right here. We can sit on the log and stuff, oh, but we're not going to do hey, that. How are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? To both. Here you go. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you too. Woo! <laughs> What's going on here? Toilet paper? What kind of paper? What kind of paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Ah, oh, that kind of paper. I got you. Ah, that kind of paper. No harm in that. I better get going. Well, no harm in that. No harm in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. So, are you guys on vacation or something? So, are you guys on vacation? Sort of. Although, I guess you need a job for a vacation. Joan! Can you get in here, please? Now? Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you. Sweet, Meredith. Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? The authorities? What are these guys, man? Bunch of hippies, boys. Looks like we've encountered some hippies in here. What the hell is going on? I mean, I'm not an authority. I'm just a postal girl. What the hell are you talking about? Alright, so let's head back to the city, boys. Time to do that. We gotta um, return Lori's movie box to Angie. Angie, that's her name. I keep forgetting about her. Her name for some reason. I don't know why, boys. It's very forgettable for some reason. I don't know. Alright, so let's just go back to NG. Deliver Lori's uh, mailbox or whatever. Or his movie box. And um, afterwards, I guess we're going to be done for the day. I guess, right? We're going to have a lot of day. It's, it was a pretty fast day, this one. It's just really me delivering a bunch of mail everywhere. We've encountered some new people here and there. Uh, I'm guessing. Right, uh, the hippies along the way and stuff like that. Talk to Robert again about the whole situation from yesterday. Seems like uh, the people that uh, want to do the apartment and stuff that were sending him mail. Seems like uh, they don't want to 
They're, uh, they let loose a little bit more on him now, so he should be all right because of the uh, paperwork I did for him. Hi, so Angie. we'll see how this oh, okay. de develops. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Listen, if you're busy, I can come back later. Uh, she seemed positive. I think it, uh, this might actually work. Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. Okay, uh, if you're busy, I can come back later. Listen, if you're busy, I can come back later. Yeah, uh, actually, now's not a great time. There's two more movies on the counter. If you could deliver those, that'd be peachy. Hmm. Jaws and the Dirty Dozen. <laughs> Best not mix these two up. Well, I'm on it. Don't worry your pretty uh, little head about it. Change my mind. Not doing it. Oh, God. Am I going to be an asshole about it, boys? About this, it didn't really work out. And I feel like I'm getting into trouble right here. I think I am I changed my mind about it. I think I'm probably ending up not doing it. I'm sorry, NG, but I can't help you out with this. Not these ones. I, I think I'm going to get in trouble. I don't have time to get in trouble. You know what? I've changed my mind. I'm not doing it anymore. Fine. It was a stupid idea anyway. Now, if you'll excuse me. Bye. I don't think she took it well, boys. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> There's not much I can do right here. Hopefully she's not going to be pissed at me because of that. But, look. Uh, I... It's not like I really... I should do that in the first place. You know, it's not my job to do that. My job is to deliver mail, not movies. I feel like that was um, the first time around I, I got a, like a message and stuff. I feel like I got in trouble or something. Let's not push our lock, boys. Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just like instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. You know what I mean? Oh man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangout and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. Decide to meet K. Decide you're too busy. Oh well, am I always too busy, boys? I don't know if I should meet K. To be honest, uh, eleven. How much time are gonna pass there? I've already decided to ditch NG and uh, ditch the other girl for the photography. If I ditch, uh, start ditching everybody, I guess. Right? Whatever. It is what it is. I don't have time for, for town people. I d I don't know. She wants to meet with me. I never said I wanted to meet with her again. I just said, you know, it's been fun talking to you. I'm not much of a people's person, boy, so... I don't know if I actually should talk to her or whatever. I'm going drastic over here, but I got a job to do. I got mail to deliver. Don't have time for, for uh, chit-chatting with people. You know, I think I'm busy. I'm too busy for this shit. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 1. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Shooten Brown. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed, right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstauben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? I'm actually starting to read books, boys. This is not good news. Alright, so what is this? Add if 87. We're actually working on it now?
So what's the ad if actually? Is it like a storybook or a story or something? I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not sure what that's uh, all about. I mean, I was Hello? literally talking you about my experiences and Monster stuff. Deal Central. How may I help you? Uh, you're in a good mood. Oh, hi, Steve. I'm sorry, I'm not interested in telemarketing. Well, uh, hi, Steve, I guess. Oh, hi, Steve. Meredith, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster deal. That is awesome. Tell me more. Uh, well, it is, that is oh, awesome. Wow, it's pretty cool. So awesome. Tell me more. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They read the pitch. They loved it. And they want to buy 150,000 copies of Added 87. 150,000. That's so nice. That's that really like cool. 35 bucks. What? That's like a million of dollars of revenue. What? That's millions of dollars of revenue. M -m -m millions and and it's just the start. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Could you please check it? I really hope I can depend on you this time. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Oh, you'll you'll get my blessings, all right? Millions of dollars of revenue. My God, we're doing this. I uh, got gotcha, you, Steve. Don't worry about it. Got gotcha, you, Steve. Don't worry about it. Awesome. I'll be in touch again this evening. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. Okay. You gotta stop with these music pawns, boys. The hell. The Countess and the Carpenter. She's Captain still reading books. Cecilia hated There's nothing to watch on the TV or anything. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. Steve's parcel and another note from Tess. Hey M, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Add It actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Yeah, I remember. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Wait, am I in trouble right here? The hell's going on? What's going on, my guy? Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Uh, yes. Well, the gist of it. Um, yes. Well, the gist of it. Can you remember the segment from Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph? Excuse me? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Chapter 11, Revitting Stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, that part seems to have slipped my mind. All right, I'm just going to mess with him. Ah, oh, yes, Chapter 11, Revitting Stuff. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Yeah, it's very bad. Not good. Not good at all. Well, okay. Sounds reasonable enough. Oh. She's talking about the okay, movie stuff. How did he figure that out already? I'm aware that you've only just begun working here. But I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. Of course. I mean, yes, sir. Well, I am the definition of integrity, my guy. What are you talking about? If you look up the definition of integrity, it has my picture next to it. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. All right. Do you know Frank Coleman? Well, yes, I do know of him. Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him? Oh, okay. They weren't postmarked. They weren't postmarks? I don't know about that. I, I, I guess, maybe? I, I don't know. Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? Yes, I am aware. Yes. That 
will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, well, that was kind of terrifying. Hope I'm not in trouble. It's just Frank being in trouble. Oh, okay. This is going to be something else, isn't it? Let's see what Jack uh, has to tell us this time around, boys, to say to us. I do have to go around real quick. All right. Well, it looks like they're done talking. Uh, we do have our first mail for today. We uh, got this place right here, which is pretty... Not pretty, uh, not too far away. Interesting. We got all of this. How much mail do we have uh, for today, boys? That was very eventful last night right here. Uh, we got a whole weekend uh, that we had to deal with. So, uh, I'm going to go over here. So, we got... I guess we got a mail right here. We got a package. Afterwards, we've got two mails. Actually, we don't have a lot. We really don't have a lot to do. I can literally fast travel back to the motel. There's a package for it. There's a campground right there. I can't uh, fast travel there, but there's, it's the uh, the same people. So let me go ahead, I guess, and ride back towards there. There's really not a whole lot to do in this one. There's, uh, we're going to get uh, get it done pretty quickly, this one, to, uh, the day that is, it looks like. So if it wasn't for the fact that uh, maybe we would have more stuff to do if we had to do the whole NG thing, I guess. Maybe that's what's going on here. So maybe if we are, we're actually uh, doing uh, the NG uh, part, uh, helping her out still, I guess it would um, it would combine it together. I guess it, it would uh, have a lot more stuff to do for us. But, you know, after I just received the... I just talked with, like, the man in black or something. It's uh, very um, scary, boys. So I do not want to mess with these dudes. So maybe, you know, I did well to drop the whole thing with a a NG because if Frank's getting in trouble for small stuff like betting, I don't want to see what happens if um, if they caught me doing the whole movie stuff. So, uh, you know what? I think w a one-time thing with a mechanic with Lori was uh, good enough. I, I don't want to have to deal with it anymore, you know. I do not want to have to get in trouble. All right, boys, I went ahead and did deliver the two other mail thingies. It was in a neighborhood, a, a random neighborhood, so it was pretty all right. There was nothing special to it as I'm going past my direction right here. So uh, these ones were pretty simple, just delivered them, uh, nobody to talk to. I already know I'm going to have to talk to these people because I'm going to the camp and stuff. So I'm going to have to interact with uh, the two of them. I'm not sure what their name is again. I forgot about it already. Not good with names, boys. Not good with remembering names, to be honest. It's not uh, not my forte at all. So I'm just going to I'm gonna park right here just so I can head back afterwards. Let me go ahead and get off of here. We, I got a, another letter for you, uh, guys. What's going on here today? Uh, where's, uh, where's your... Um, Where's your boyfriend, Bye June? There. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today. On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. The hell? Is he doing drugs or something? Did he have too much of the funny stuff? Did he have too much of the stuff that makes you feel funny? Well, actually. When I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I may have a suspicion. I have no idea how that happened. I have no idea how that happened. Oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. Mickey, wake up, honey. Leave me alone. I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going, exactly? Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. Canada? All right, that's good news, then. You're going to a good place. Uh, what's uh, what about the RV? Well, uh, Canada for good. Canada, for good. Joan, 
Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two, you know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. It sounds like fun. I don't know about the puff situation, but the rest sounds like fun. Why not? Have a good, uh, a good uh, night with them. Why not? Yeah, why not? Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome. Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. Yeah, see you Wednesday. All right, so it seems like uh, Wednesday we got a meeting with them. Or we got a, a nice little date with uh, these two. So uh, we only have one more place to go. It's at the motel. I can literally fast travel there, no problem. Let me do that. All right, here we go. We're here, boys, at the motel. We got to deliver a package. Uh, the last package of the day. Uh, these days are not uh, lasting too long uh, any any time, boys. Uh, the days are not lasting as long as they were previously. Uh, at, at, at some point, uh, at this point. So I, I'm not sure why. Maybe uh, people are just getting tired of getting mail by me. Or I don't know. But uh, it feels like I have less work to do now. You remember these uh, the two or three days in a row where we had to literally deliver a hundred packages or something. Seems like today it's very, very quiet. Uh, hello, sir. It's the mail. Hello, sir. It's the mail. Excuse me. What's this all about? I thought I'd not bother you and just deliver the parcel. Oh, I thought I'd not bother you and just deliver the parcel. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Okay, I'll take that account for next time. I appreciate you like, like a human being, asshole. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Well, oh, interesting. I work on computers too. Are you sure you're just not playing a game? Are you sure you're not just playing a game? Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks for the mail. Bye. My guy, you're not fooling me, all right? I know all about computers. Don't try and fool me, for. All right, so we got to uh, head back to the post office, boys. Let's do that. Let's go back to Main Street. We're going to head back to the uh, post office and I guess finish our work day once again. Now, hopefully nothing too crazy is going to happen. Yeah, that guy at the uh, uh, the motel is literally pissing me off. He's being a jerk for no reason, boys. Should probably look at me when I'm uh, when I'm delivering something to him. Does he not have to sign anything? Like seriously, this guy's an asshole. Hello. Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. I did start at the office. I was being inter uh, interrogated. Uh, it was a nothing uh, normal day. Nothing special. Yeah, I'm not going to say about the interrogation day? because uh, okay. it, he, he it might go up though. against me. We check in on you. Living up top. Uh, you're boozing every evening. Living it up, huh? Are you boozing every evening? <laughs> Easy now. It's just a nice convenience. We found a payphone at this bar. Oh, mom's poking me. I guess she's mad. I blew her cover. Here she comes. Hey, Meredith. Don't listen to dad. We will only have one or two drinks. That's all. That's what um, they always say. Uh, you sound a bit defensive. Not a good subject. It's okay, mom. I like a drink every now and then as well. No, you don't. You sound a bit defen defen defensive right here. You sound a bit defensive. Not a good subject. Alcohol is fine, but I'm changing the subject. Have you met that new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. He's a unique, uh, he's a jerk. That's what he is. He's a jerk. Ugh, I agree. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? Not very eventful. I worked, uh, after work I watch TV and read books. It's night. It's nice. Uh, I've met some interesting people, I guess. It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people.
Nah, just interesting. I mean, just interesting. What do you mean? I mean, just interesting. What do you mean? You know what I mean. It's been a while since you met someone new. Oh, here we go. Here comes the mom. And now I'm changing the subject. How are you guys doing over there? Did you miss Providence uh, hoax? How are you guys doing over there, actually? How are you guys doing over there? Well, all right then. So review Steve's contract. Obviously, we got to do it. We got to do it. It's a million, uh, man. There's a million dollars on the on the line right there. We got to do it. It's a lot of revenue, boys. We got to review that uh, that contract for sure. All right. Here we go again. Meredith, can I bug you for a second? Sure, Frank. What's up? Sure, Frank. What's up? That Walter Morgan guy. Uh, what did he want from you? Nothing. Nothing special. He asked if I was settling, uh, settling all right. He was asking all sorts of questions. Nah, nothing special. Uh, nothing special. He asked if I was settling in all right. Oh, okay. Good. So, nothing about me, right? Why? Why would he have anything to do with you? Does it have anything to do with you, my guy? But he did ask about your envelopes, right? Nothing. Why? Right. Nothing. Why? Oh, forget it. Have a nice day, Meredith. Have a nice day too. Don't forget that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He Why? Asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. He wants me to meet with him or something. Okay. He wants me to go see him. Now we got a lot of packages. Look at that. Wow. That, yeah, that's a good. That, that's a big day today, boys. Look at all these mails and packages. Uh, we got to talk with Robert over here and uh, we got an upper package and a package all the way down there. The cabins and stuff. What the hell? This is very far away. All right, then. It's pretty much at the edge of the map right there, boys. Okay, so we're going to save that for the next video, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the video. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.